we were given T1 of x and T2 of x and asked to write the standard matrices for T1, T2, and for T1 of T2. The form of a matrix transformation is T of vector x equals matrix A times vector x, where matrix A is a transformation matrix or standard matrix. So if we can write T1 and T2 in this form, we can determine the standard matrices. Let's first write T1 of x as a sum of two matrices, where the first matrix will be a two by one matrix containing the x1 term. So we have 10 x1, 27 x1, plus the next matrix will contain the x2 terms. So we have negative three x2 and negative eight x2. And now let's go ahead and factor out the x1 and x2. This gives us x1 times 10, 27 plus x2 times negative three, negative eight. And now we can write the sum of these products as a two by two matrix where the first column is 10, 27, the second column is negative three, negative eight, then we have times vector x, which you can write as x1, x2 as a two by one column matrix. And notice now we have T1 of x in the form of matrix A times vector x. Matrix A is the standard matrix or transformation matrix for T1. So this would be one method we could use to determine the standard matrix for T1. However, because we have a matrix transformation in R2, the first column of the transformation matrix is equal to the transformation of the vector E sub one of the vector one zero, and the second column is a transformation of the vector E sub two of the vector zero one. Let's also show this method. T of vector E sub one equals the transformation of the vector one zero. Using our formulas, X sub one is one, X sub two is zero. The first component is 10 times one minus three times zero, which is 10. The second component is 27 times one minus eight times zero, which is 27. Notice how this is the first column of the standard matrix for T1. Let's also find the transformation of the vector E sub two. Now X sub one is zero, X sub two is one. Going back to the formulas, the first component is 10 times zero minus three times one or negative three and the second component is 27 times zero minus eight times one, which is negative eight. Notice negative three, negative eight is the second column of the standard matrix for T1. And now let's find the standard matrix for T2. And again, we'll show both methods. So T2 of X is equal to, let's write this as X1 times the two by one matrix holding the coefficients of X sub one, which are one and negative three plus x sub two times the two by one matrix holding the coefficients of x sub two, which are zero and one. And we can write the sum of the products as a two by two matrix, where the first column is one, negative three, the second column is zero, one times vector x, which is the vector x one, x two. Again, we now have T two in the form of matrix A times vector x, where matrix A is the standard matrix. Let's also verify we get the same results by determining the transformation of the vectors E sub one and E sub two. For the transformation of the vector E sub one, X sub one is one, X sub two is zero. Using the formulas, for the first component we have one times one plus zero times zero which is equal to one. And the second component is negative three times one plus one times zero, which is negative three. Notice one negative three is the first column of the standard matrix for T2. And for the transformation of E sub two, X sub one is zero, X sub two is one. For the first entry, we have one times zero plus zero times one, that's zero. For the second entry, we have negative three times zero plus one times one, which is one. Notice the second column is zero, one. And now the last part, we're asked to find a single standard matrix for T1 of T2. So let's take a closer look at this. If we consider T1 of T2, 
this is equal to t1 of t2 of x. So to find t2 of x, we would find the product of the standard matrix for t2 and the vector x. This would give us t1 of the matrix 1, 0, negative 3, 1 times vector x. Next, this product would be the input into T1, and T1 finds the product of the standard matrix for T1 and the input. This would give us the matrix 10, negative 3, 27, negative 8 times the input, which is the matrix 1, 0, negative 3, 1 times vector x. So the reason I wanted to show this is if we were applying the transformations individually, we would first apply the transformation given by T2 and then apply the transformation given by T1. So we'd actually read this from right to left. But if we do want to find a single matrix that combines the two transformations into one transformation, we do just multiply from left to right like we normally do. So to find the single transformation for T1 of T2, we do just find the product of the matrix 10, negative 3, 27, negative 8, and the matrix 1, 0, negative 3, 1. For row 1, column 1, we have 10 times 1 plus negative 3 times negative 3, which is 19. For row 1, column 2, we have 10 times 0 plus negative 3 times 1, which is negative 3. For row 2, column 1, we have 27 times 1 plus negative 8 times negative 3. That's 27 plus 24, 51. And for row 2, column 2, we have 27 times 0 plus negative 8 times 1, which is negative 8. So this single matrix combines the two transformations from T2 and T1 into a single transformation. So this would be the single standard matrix for T1 of T2. I hope you found this helpful.